Hi everyone, I'm Matthew and I'm one of the active musicians at Pit Lockery Festival Theatre. Um, I've been asked to give you a brief introduction to one of my instruments, so I've picked today the um, clarinet. Um, so sorry about this weird angle of camera, I've just tried to get it so that you could see this one and see the other instruments in the same family. Um, but this is the clarinet, um, yeah this is what it sounds like. clarinet is quite big as you can see, well not really big but it's quite big to carry it around so it actually breaks down into five um, sections um, so I'll break that down now, um, show you it in the case and then I'll put it all together and explain the the names of the parts of the instrument I guess. So you can see this case is quite huge because it's actually made for two clarinets, it's a B flat clarinet and an A clarinet and it's quite common for professional clarinet players to have two um, clarinets in different keys um, purely just because it makes the music easier to play if it's in a hard key so composers wrote for two instruments um, yeah so as you can see here the clarinet has five parts it has this at the bottom which is a like a cylindrical shape and that's called the bell that's used to amplify the sound then you've got the um, lower lower joint this one which is the upper joint and you have this small one here which is called the barrel and then at the top which is the most important is the mouthpiece and with the mouthpiece you have this tiny little piece of wood and that is called a reed and it's very thin um, and this is what's used to vibrate to make the sound when you blow so without this you can't make any sound on the instrument um, but what I'll do now is I'll put it together bit by bit and you can see how when it gets longer and more more parts are added to the instrument, how the pitch gets lower as the air has to travel further through the tube. So yeah. So here we have the mouthpiece. So if you just have the mouthpiece with the reed which makes the sound, it's very high pitched and quite duck like and it sounds like this. So if I have the next section which is the barrel, um, that makes it slightly lower. And then if I add the upper joint, and then the lower joint, which sounds quite like the clarinet already. And then you just add this final part, which is the bell. So there you go, there's the clarinet in full. So the woodwind family, I guess it's called woodwind instruments because they originally were made of wood um, and also you blow into them. Um, even though now you have like modern adaptations, so you have like flutes that are made of metal and saxophones that are made of brass, um, but originally these instruments were made of wood. So that's where the original name comes from. So on the clarinet you can play quite quietly and really loudly, um, so let me just give you a few examples of that. has um, quite a big range. You can play quite low notes and also high notes. So let me give you a few examples of that. And if I do a scale from low to high. So we said that the clarinet comes from the woodwind family, but the clarinet also has a family of its own. Um, and I guess this allows composers to write music for the clarinet to have the same sound, but encompass a wider range. So there's clarinets which have a higher pitch and clarinets which have a lower pitch, which I'll show you now. Um, so this one's a B-flat clarinet, but we also have the A clarinet. And this is, um, if you can see, quite similar in length to the normal clarinet, 
but because it's slightly longer it has the ability to be slightly lower and also it has like a rich warmer sound so if I just give you a, a bit of that more mellow sound and this is used for quite famously for the Mozart clarinet concerto so if you listen to it in the lower register as well. Slightly warmer. So after the A clarinet, um, I'm going to show you um, kind of like the soprano of the clarinet world. Um, it's the E flat clarinet. And this is used more commonly for marching bands, if you can see the contrast in size. Uh, it's like a piccolo is to a flute. Um, but this is used more for like marching bands and um, more modern orchestral pieces, I guess. Um, so there's a bit I'll play you now um, in Ravel's Bolero, which uses E flat clarinet, and that you can see it's a bit higher. tone. Um, so let me play some high notes as well. A bit squeaky. <laughs> and then to contrast to the E flat clarinet, the soprano um, clarinet, we have um, a larger instrument which some people think looks like a saxophone but it's definitely a bass clarinet. And that's this one. You can see, I can't fit it in the camera, but you can see how big it is compared to this one. And that just allows you to have a lot lower tone. So let me just play you a bit of that. So yeah, that's my brief introduction into the clarinet. Um, I'm going to expand on these videos over the next couple of weeks, so please keep watching. Um, I'm going to do one for the flute and one for the oboe and recorder families as well, so check them out. Um, just to leave you with, I've recorded myself playing um, the Victorian Kitchen Garden um, by Paul Reed. So check it out and enjoy. Mm -hmm.